Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Pisces. All right. Ask for messages from Universe, Angel, Spirits, and my guides. Please and thank you. All right. Overall energy is the Three of Swords. We have the Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Okay. So the Three of Swords could be somebody else's. It does not have to be yours. But um, someone could be viewing you as the Queen of Wands. Very attractive. Could be a fire sign interested in you. Six of Wands, Five of Cups. Someone failed here. I don't think it's you. I feel like it's them. But Hierophant, Ten of Coins. Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords. Walking away and resting. Now, what's interesting is under the deck is you. Behind you, Seven of Swords. Strength. We have a King of Coin. Hmm. So it could be someone at work or towards Virgo Capricorn possibly interested in you. Interested in you. Excuse me. This could be how they view you as the Queen of Wands, because usually that's your energy. Let's see. All right, what is the Three of Swords? We have Lovers, Four of Cups, Eight of Wands. We do one more Magician, and what are they manifesting? Nine of Coins. I feel like you have turned somebody down, or you will be turning someone down, Pisces. Someone who may think that you're like a beautiful goddess here with the Queen of Wands, possibly. That's the word that came to mind. I don't normally use that word. So they gave that to me. Nine of Wands, Seven of Coins, Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, Communication. Feels like this is somebody that honestly you don't really get along with. Or you just don't have a lot in common. But yet, feels like they can't stop thinking about you with the Eight of Swords there. Because it's like there's some competition or bickering with the Five of Wands. You got the Nine of Wands, which is kind of like putting up with someone. But it's like... They still can't let you go. There's still communication with the Page of Wands. You have the Page of Cups here and the Page of Wands. So, what is the Five of Cups back here? Hanged Man, Two of Coins, Seven of Cups. Okay, there's definitely some obsession here. With, and it looks like this it's focused in your direction. This may have not really happened yet, right? Because, Tarot, I like to see what's coming in, not what's going on. But so, this could be someone you're working with, someone that you're dealing with. This person... You may not realize it. I feel like they have very strong feelings for you, but maybe a little bit on the obsessive side. We'll see. I'm noticing under the deck is a queen of swords. So I feel like someone's trying to get your attention, but you come across maybe as a queen of swords also. And if you don't, don't like this person, if you're not attracted to them, then that's fine. But I feel like they have tried and failed maybe. They might be a Capricorn or Gemini, Taurus. They might be married this is usually the other person's energy. They could be already married is the problem. And you're like thinking, no, I don't want to get involved in that. Ten of Wands, the King of Coin, Strength card. Yeah, someone really, um, but they see you as the Queen of Swords or, oh, they're married to the Queen of Swords. Okay, when I do personal readings and I ask about the spouse, whether it's a man or woman, the Queen and King of Swords shows up at telling me there's no love. King and Queen of Cups tells me that they, they're still love. They want to hang on. They want to fix it. You know, all that. So this person I'm thinking is married is in that very much interested in you. There's no love on the partner side, but they're still together. What they would like to do is end it with the world and find true love, which I'm thinking they're looking at you. Hence why you have, you know what, if we're going to move this forward, you need to be single. You need to work on a divorce. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups, though, and the Four of Swords in the outcome. So it looks like they'll end up walking away, or you'll end up walking away, so you don't have to deal with this person anymore. Moving forward, Temperance, the Cold Shoulder, Justice, because they were a player. Yeah, you have someone very interested in you. I'm sorry to tell you that this is um, probably not very exciting, and it's not probably what you want to hear in a reading. But definitely somebody is very obsessed or interested in you. But it appears from this reading they are married. Now, they could be a couple other things, like they're your boss or they're your friend's partner or something. I mean, somebody you don't want to get involved with, and I'm reading them as this kind of energy, player energy. You're walking away. You're ignoring this person. Now, they might, and I say might, view you as the queen of swords because if you're giving them the cold shoulder, they could view you as this way. But more than likely, they are cheating on a spouse. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, you may feel a very strong soul connection though with them. You have lovers here, two of cups, so it may be very difficult. And again, they're very attracted to you. I have to sneeze. I apologize. But, <laughs> um, so coming up as a queen of wands, but that doesn't really matter, right? Because if they're married, they're married. 
I feel this is it just isn't going to work. It's not going to go anywhere. Sometimes tower can represent divorce, but with your outcome cards, I don't see this person actually following through with the divorce. All right, so just know that this is a reading for someone specific that you have this person interested in you, and it's not going like they're not going to cool off. I see them bothering you for a while here. The fact that you might get treated poorly if you work with this person, possibly. But um, more than likely, they're just kind of obsessed with you. They're not going to let you go. They don't want to walk away until you tell them specifically no. They're not going to get a divorce also. That's the other thing this reading is showing me. They're going to maybe say they will, but I don't see them doing it. So you might want to know that also before you get you know your heart involved if you do plan to be with this person in any way. Okay, palm tree. So... Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. This person, I do see, a couple, probably has maybe some money around them, finances. They seem very stable. Uh, maybe they could be a very good partner, but I just don't see them being, you know, being, you know, any. If they're married, it's not very helpful. Chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So this person could just be someone who chases, anyways doesn't even have to be a codependent relationship at this point. And addiction. Okay, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Okay, so obviously this person wants somebody in their life to feel stable. They are codependent. They're chasing you. They want to be with someone, especially you. So this isn't even a healthy person anyways, you know. So let me see another advice card to see what, what else you need to know, why they're showing you this. I'm hoping this is helpful for someone who you're thinking, well, maybe they'll get married. They're saying they're getting married or divorced and they have money and they seem stable and they seem, you know, like a good person. Okay, one card, please. Okay, so resilience, number 21. So this person probably is not meant for you, obviously. You can choose, of course, it's up to you. But I feel like it's saying you've been through a lot of shit like this, that you're very resilient. You need somebody who's going to treat you better, who's going to be single, available. Let me pull one more. It's kind of like getting the strength card, which to me, yeah, and faith. Okay. So have faith. There is somebody else out there for you that is better. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.